Hey, welcome back to Dutch Shed Builds. My name is Jerome Brookhouse. This is episode all about cleaning the carbs with an ultrasonic cleaner. And the carbs I did before this, uh, I used like a diesel and like a petroleum, stuff like that, gasoline to clean it. it Seem to do the trick really well, but maybe not the really tiny stuff. Yeah, I'm curious to see if there's a big difference. A uh, good friend on Instagram, Dennis, he was very kind enough to lend me his ultrasonic cleaner. I do not own one of these. It's a really cool device to really properly clean things like carbs or, well, basically anything on the motorcycle. He's actually got quite a big one. So you could fit like a four cylinder, I think, in here, but I've only got like two. So what I'm gonna do is fill this up with some warm water, about 50 degrees, add a couple of splashes of this, it's dusty, and that should do the trick. And beforehand, I'm gonna spray these, that's his advice, to spray these with the same stuff, just to get it loose. And then let it sit for about, I think 20 minutes, he said. Then let's have a look. So this is what it looks like right now. I'll just get that into the camera. It's pretty grimy, uncleaned. And you can see there's a lot of stuff in there as well. Like dirt, and it, it actually stuck, do you see that? So that's not a good thing. So I'm gonna take it apart and then put it in here. So an ultrasonic cleaner. It's got a couple of settings here at the front. Uh, the time you want to use it and the degrees you want to put the water or the um, you can also put some special fluid in there which is more expensive uh, set it to certain degrees at 50 and this is what is actually warm at the moment and this is the time you take uh, to do that he's at 20 minutes it's got a little tap here to get rid of all the, uh, the stuff after you're done big ass lid and like a little basket to uh, take everything in and out. And that is basically it, but it really does do the trick. So uh, I'm really grateful. I really, I think it's pretty cool that he lent me this. I never met him before in my life, other than on Instagram. So uh, cheers, Ennis. Um, and yeah, let's have a go. These are for the GS over here. And if it works out, I'm also gonna do the Honda as well and maybe even do my own uh, GS. So I've got uh, hot water from the tap home. Put this in this container. This is actually a container that I came from the motor trailer. So it's nice to use that. And I'm gonna put that in the, um, the ultrasonic cleaner and I'm gonna fill it up to this edge. So I filled it up. Oh, this is pretty cool. So it was set at 50 and the actual temperature is 51. So I kind of eyeballed that, but I did pretty good. So I'm just gonna add some splashes. Dashes. One. more the merrier I guess. I'm just gonna clean this a bit more. Actually, let's just stick it in there like it is now. See, that's gunky and grimy. And this is the right hand side carb. Okay, let's stick it in there. Temperature drops. He did it about 20 minutes. Okay. This is the other one. So this is the left hand. It's got dirt over here. Right, these little nasty spots. 
look at this. This is like, if you get that in your car or in your pilot jets, they just block up and it messes everything up. Just put some other bits and bobs in there and then we just have to wait. So let's turn it on, 20 minutes, uh, 50 degrees. Let's go. It's like a weird sound. Okay, so the time has passed. Um, yeah, let's have a look. If it's done what it needs to do. Uh, ooh, that looks nice. Could do with a bit more, as you can see. Maybe it's too gunky. But it has improved a lot. Not too bad, really. Could be better, though. Maybe I should have cleaned it more. These are the bits I really want to get out. And that didn't come out. So, maybe it needs more time. Do the same with the other. Well, it has improved a lot. Maybe it's because it's like corroded. See that? Oh, sorry, like little specks here. Chuck in a bit more. Okay, let's have another go. All right, so you have to push this to start heating, I guess. Let's watch that. That doesn't help. Oh yeah, that is much better. That is much better. That's really clean. Yeah, that did the trick. All right, so I'm just gonna take everything out. But they look uh, really nice now. So I guess the temp, the other one was just like too low. And I added some additional dusty. Maybe that was a trick, but they look really clean now. Yeah. Nice one. Lovely. So enough stuff came off it, look at that. I have to use the air compressor and blow this out again. And they were so dirty. This spring here as well. Just to clean that out, just look at the water. That was like clear water, it's now black. So it did something. This is everything clean out now. Uh, used the machine that Dennis was uh, kind enough to lend me. They came out really nice. 
I do think that if you use something else like Dusty, it may come out a bit cleaner. I had to do it twice for certain bits, but they were really dirty. So uh, that's still uh, in the balance, I think. But the cleaning stuff is really expensive. So uh, Dusty is really cheap and it seems to do the trick pretty good. Uh, and it's worth to have a go. So I'm gonna reassemble everything. These are the two carbs separate with all the different pieces. And these are the bits that go uh, between them. I use compressed air to uh, blow out all the little holes everywhere and blow out the last pieces of water and cleaning stuff. So I'm gonna put this back together now. When we started cleaning, something wasn't working, and that was these, where they were not falling down. And with all the cleaning, they come down just nicely. So, that's a good thing to show, to see if it works, if it's clean enough. Everything is moving. This is the choke. You can see these little plungers going up. There's two of them, there's one behind over here and one over there. That works. So, yeah. That's the clean carb for a GS450. Okay, so uh, that is a carb completely cleaned with the uh, very noisy machine. The ultrasonic cleaner looks pretty good, a lot better than it did before. Uh, I was missing a little spring over here somewhere. So I need to order that and maybe some new uh, rings underneath for these. But other than that, it seemed okay. So this can go back on the bike. <laughs> I got lucky. I suddenly found that little spring. So you can buy these. They are pretty expensive, well expensive couple of hundred euros, but you don't use this very often. So if you can borrow it from somebody else, or maybe I gave him a couple of nice beers for it. So um, yeah, then that helps out. But anyway, love the community for doing that. Let's have a go. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is dismantle the carbs. All right, that is it for this small video about reassembling and cleaning the carbs. Uh, if you like my videos, Again, please subscribe, leave a comment, I really enjoy that. Uh, you can get some merchandise of me just to uh, support the channel, t-shirts, hats, things like that. So please go to Redbubble to do that. And for now, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.